Trust is a published by the authority. Tuesday, March 12th, 2024, bottom 24, number 10, let's start it out. The government of the Republic of Liberia announces with profound regret the death in his 68 year of Honorable John C. Niago Gueglo, Master of Arts, Education Class, Minister of Foreign Affairs, former Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of, Foreign, Minister of Public Works, former Deputy Minister for Administration, Minister of Labor, former Deputy Minister for Revenue, extra Ministry of Finance, now Ministry of Finance and Development, former Executive Director, National Investment Commission, former Vice President for Fiscal Affairs, and former President of United Methodist University, former Chairman of the Union. This sad event occurred on Monday, February 19, 2024, at about 9 o'clock anti meridian at the St. Joseph Kelly Hospital following a brief illness. The late Honorable Dr. Jonti Nyabong Weglo was affectionately called Jay by his supporters and admirers and diplomats by his professional colleagues was born on July 25, 1955 onto the union of Mr. James P. Gregno and Madame Zale Mati Gregno E. Zekepa, Zale Administrative District, Yahweh Menslaw Statutory District, Lower Lima County. Both of his parents preceded him. Honorable John T. several capacities, including President of the Ashen Unit Mata United Methodist Church, Chairman of the Administrative Council, President, Morgan District Main Organization, Father of the Year, and Father of the Year, Morgan District Organization, among others. John Gregory and some of his siblings moved to Ganta United Methodist School in 1962, where he began his Christian life while he was a student. At the time, the deceased was more drawn to make a distinction between him and his elder brother. However, there was still confusion for some teachers. So in 1966, Mr. J.J. Walker, principal of the Ganta United Methodist School, changed the deceased name to Johnson. The deceased was one of Webler's children who was very quick at learning and very enthusiastic about education. John Gregor graduated in 97 from the eighth grade and departed from the People's College High School on Broad Street, where he graduated as the valedictorian in the year in the same year. While attending the People's College, the deceased learned tapping and during the Christmas break of that year, he took up a vacation job at the maternity center on the capital Barbados. Due to his excellent technical skills and interpersonal relationship, he was given his first permanent employment with the, with the center, where he worked directly with Mrs. Morris, the chief administrator of the hospital. In his 20 years, that of he did not think he was deserving of the team, where in the course he taught, he, he took taught others who school A. He therefore refused to repeat the chemistry book, especially since he had had a confrontation with the instructor during that semester. That the workload did not therefore enroll at the AB AM Dougherty Medical College to pursue his career in medicine. As a result of the setback, the deceased decided to travel to the United States to explore other opportunities. In preparation for his plane travel, he started to work overtime. He drove a test cab overnight two years. In 1979, the deceased dream was realized when he departed Liberia for the United States. While in the United States, Dr. Gregory was hosted by his uncle Gabriel Silipe and his family, who tremendously helped him in his resettlement process. Soon, the disease began his education journey in a new environment. The late Dr. John C. Nyagon enrolled at the 
happened in community college in Minneapolis, Minnesota, United States of America. He obtained an associate arts degree in accounting in 1982. Thereafter, he matriculated to the Oxford College, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Administration with emphasis in the role at the Creighton University, Omaha, Nebraska, USA, where he pursued a PhD degree in education with concentration in educational leadership. He graduated in 2017 with a doctoral degree in educational leadership. That was where will begin his professional career as a manager of the Environmental Services Department of Abrad Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis, Minnesota, United States of America. He later resigned and returned home at the height of the Liberian Civil War to form part of the solution to the crisis which was already entering its second year. With the information of the with the formation of the interim government of the National Unity in 1990, the late Dr. Gregorio was an eminent politician in the country, was selected as a member of the interim legislative assembly. He served the legislature until 1994 and served as presiding officer, at which time he provided administrative direction to that August party until a speaker was designated by the appropriate party. Under his leadership, the, the structure of the legislature was organized to reflect the unicameral nature of the legislature. While at the RLA, Honorable Gregory diligently served as chairman of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, providing oversight for agencies implementing the foreign policy of Liberia. In terms of financial stability, the Board of Trustees of the United Methodist University created the position of Vice President for Finance and Fiscal Affairs in 2006, the first of its kind in the library educational system. The Board unanimously elected Dr. Wetlow as the first occupant of that office. Other universities, including the University of Liberia, have since copied that model. Following a successful tour of duty as Vice President of Finance and Fiscal Affairs, the deceased was again elected by the Board of Trustees of UMU as President. In that role, the late Dr. John C. and Gregor became the first Lima professional to lead the major university in Liberia. As President of the United Methodist University, this brilliant career scholar and veteran educator focus on academic integrity, secular transformation faculty and student development, as well as infrastructure enhancement and rehabilitation within the context of the student center environment. The disease launched the Bishop John G. Ennis Graduate School of Theology, which covered the master's degree in divinity religious education and council as part of the United Methodist, uh, Methodist University School of Professional and Graduate Studies. He also embarked on a new campus project when he acquired a 52 acres of land on the Robert Field Highway as the future home of the United Methodist University. His emphasis on academic reform led to the commencement of construction of the new campus and hosting of the first graduation ceremony here. He, his emphasis on academic reform led to the new campus, sorry, com com commitment and compassion there his resignation in 2018. Following his election as representative of this kingdom online, Nipa County, in the 54th legislature. He also launched the Institutional Review Board of the UMU, which provides ethical guidance for faculty, students, and others outside the university to conduct research within Labu. The disease also obtained and maintained accreditation for 
the College of Health and Nursing. We located and improved the Ganta campus of the nursing school from a two-classroom space to the modern complex, raising the enrollment of the nursing program from 150 students to over 500 students. Supported many students to receive nursing education at the college to his personal scholarship. Constructed the modern student center. In honor of these achievements, the nursing school named its student center after the deceased after Dr. Jones and Gregory Hall. Proud to his appointment as president of the United Methodist University. This distinguished academician held several key positions of trust in government. These including Deputy Minister for Revenue, Minister of Finance, Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Squad, Executive Director, National Investment Commission, Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of Labor, and Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of Government. Honorable Johnson, Nagel Gregor, German, the election in 2018 as a representative of the district number nine, Nima County. As a representative, the deceased served as chairman of the House's Committee on Education and Public Administration from 2018 to 2020. As, and then as chairman of the House's Committee on Rules, Order and Administration from 2021 to 2023. Dr. Gregor served on many legislative delegations in the interest of the Latin government and recorded enviable results for the country during the six years in the legislature. As the lawmaker, the late Dr. Gregor made significant marks on Nima County, which he loved, he so loved. He served as chair, co-chair for the Nima County Legislative Caucus, playing a most stabilizing role, something which brought cohesion and cooperation within the caucus. Honorable Gregor also played a leading role in elevating the Nima County College to Nima University, thereby bringing boost to the educational development of the country and providing educational opportunities for the growing youthful population. He was then unanimously elected as chairman of the board of trustees of the Nimba University. The position he ever served up to his demands to the admiration of the university administration. On Friday, February 16, 2024, the deceased performed his last duty for the university by traveling to San for the Nima County to sign diplomats for the 2024 graduates. Similarly, the deceased performed his last Christian duty when he traveled to become a Grand Basel County on Sunday, February 18, 2024, to lead the fundraising rally at the closing of the 191st anniversary session of the Labrador Annual Conference, United Methodist Church, before his passing on the morning of Monday, February 19, 2024, at 9 o'clock, anti -Marian. As a career scholar and veteran educator with the desire to prepare young professionals for the future, the deceased lecture on several universities and colleges across the country. Those include the United Methodist University, where he served as professor in the Department of Management and Administration. The University of Liberia Graduate School, where he lectured business and public administration. And Cotton University Graduate School, where he lectured accounting with emphasis in taxation and on others. The late Honorable Johnson. Yagon Gregor was a member of several social and fraternal organizations, including the Free Intercepted Labor, Grand United Order of All Fellows, United Brother of Friendship, International Order of Good Templars, the Lions Club, among others. 
He held several permanent positions in these organizations, including past worshipful master of Praise the Star number 70 and reactivating worship master and master worship of Harmony Lords number 60 of the free and accepted base. He also served as the past fiscal lecturer, Maryland County, and past preacher, Queen of Shiva chapter number three of the Order of Eastern Star of the Republic of Latin. In the Grand United Order of All Feathers, he rose from the position of Family Secretary of Washington Memorial Lodge, number 11047, to active headmaster of the AM Norman Park Graduate Council, number 272, and Grand Director in the Subcommittee of Management of the Grand United Order of Health. He was a United Degree member of the International Order of Good Temple. Dr. Johnson Gavin Wegler met beautiful Mary Gifty Paul Dennis in 1978 on the campus of the University of Liberia when both were students. One year thereafter, the deceased departed Liberia for the United States of America. Mary Dennis followed him, followed her future husband a few years later, and on October 17, 1987, the pair were drawn into Holy Mat Holy Matrimony in Minnesota, the United States of America. The couple enjoyed a peaceful and enviable life together, leading to their fabulous public and professional life for the deceased. The couple was blessed with five children, Lily, Say Gongru, Kozia and Gongru, Amanda Mami Gongru, Josie Lua Gongru, and Philip Petrono, and several other adopted and extended children who benefited from his, from his fatherhood to the church, communities, and society. In the passing of Honorable John Z. Nyagong Gregor, his family has lost the patriarch, husband, and father who was a soul of moral courage and inspiration. The church has lost a devout Christian. The students have lost a teacher and guardian counselor. His community has lost a reconciler and peacemaker. Liberia has lost a man of letters, a nationalist, and a nation builder. The government of Liberia has lost a distinguished statesman, an astute diplomat, a patriot. He will be dearly missed for his meritorious research skills and, inv and invaluable contributions to the educational sector of Liberia. Honorable Gregor is survived by his widow, Mrs. Gifty Paul Gregor, and five children, Nile, Say Gregor, Posia and Gregor, Amanda Mami Gregor, Jose Loa Gregor, and Fanny. Katona and several grandchildren, siblings, nieces, nephews, cousins, and a host of other relatives in Liberia, the United States, Australia, and the United Kingdom. On Wednesday, March 27, 2024, 10 o'clock, Anti Marine, the body of Dr. Johnson Diago Gwendo will be removed from the summer extract of funeral service in single monument and taken to the rotunda of the Capitol building where the disease will be violated. Thereafter, on the same day, the wakekeeping will take, will take place at the Matter Club of United Methodist Church, Wigan Avenue, Peterfield, Montserrat. Avenue. Commence here at 6 post meridian and ends at 9 o'clock post meridian on Thursday, March 28th, at 10 o'clock, County Meridian, funeral rites over every meal will be said at the city church. On the following day, Friday, March 29, 2024, the remains of Dr. Johnson Niagara and Gregor will be conveyed to Zekipa Yahweh Mesler's Hospital District 
low on the market for another night of great keeping at the Zegepa Town Hall, commencing at 8 o'clock Postman on Saturday, March 30, 2024, at 10 o'clock Antelope. Funeral rites and wedding remains will be conducted at the same venue. The coming follows thereafter at the family cemetery in Zegepa. As mark of last respect and tribute to the late Honorable John C. Diago Mbrego, Master of Arts, PhD, former representative, District of Manan, Nibaka, Republic of Brazil, former member of the Internal Legislative Assembly, former co-chairman, Nima Legislative Court, former Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Quartz, former Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of Public Works, Former Deputy Minister of Administration, Minister of Labor. Former Deputy Minister of Power Revenues, Ex-Wa Minister of Finance, now called the Minister of Finance and Development. Former Executive Director of National Investment Commission. Former Vice President of Fiscal Affairs. And former President of the United Methodist University. Former Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Nima University. Former President of the United Nima the renowned academician, a cosmetic profession, Aradal Statement, a diplomat, patron, financial, Diva Christian and Public Library. It is here by all and direct that on the day of retirement, the national ensign of the Republic is drawn on half mile from all public buildings in Lima County from 6 o'clock anti Merit to 8 o'clock post while he remains at the inbound to the cemetery for one turn, his salute of 70 pounds will be filed at the interval. By order of the President, Madam Sarah Bastogliani, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Maruza Liberia, March 12, 2024. Honorable Jeremiah Grandcourt, Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, his Honor the former Chief Justice in the Social Justice of the Supreme Court, the preachers of God are here present, the bereaved family, traditional leaders, the Christian community, members of the folk estate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have the signal honor now to invite His Excellency, Joseph Newman Puaka, Senior President of the Republic of Nigeria, to picture him.
And that's what it's all about in my dreams. To make it that way. Because I don't want to be able to make it anybody. We want to make sure that we have a country that can be done, serve, and serve, and stand in front of that community. And the way we can do that
55th legislature. I see an honorable Dixon Brown Sebo of District 16, Mosharado County. And I also see Senator Prince Moore of Home County. They are going to represent the 55th National Legislature. The children of the 55th Legislature will be paid in this manner. After all, after, after the place where Senator will speak on behalf of the Madrid State, we will allot a few minutes after that to the United Methodist Campus. And then I'll speak on behalf of the House of Representatives. Thank you. Mr. President, Joseph Mubaka, President of the Republic of Liberia, Vice President, other government officials here present, my colleagues in the legislature. Yesterday, the Senate for tribute when our late colleague was high in his state. And what was left was for us to leave the ring today. And that's exactly what I'm here to do on behalf of the Liberian Senate. So, on behalf of the Senate, we want to lay this ring on the casting bearing the mortal remains of our father, I will call it the family man in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Uh, the United States Congress has just asked that uh, uh, former representative, former UV said he, I'm Senator, former UV said he had a big so that's for more for the Senator Rescue the Yeah, I will be the On behalf of the Speaker of Jim Kotikofa, 
who is currently in traffic, the Deputy Speaker Thomas Park, and the entire plenary of the 55th legislature, we come to pay our fine respect to somebody who we still consider a member of the 55th. And I'll tell you why. I have not talked, or I did not think for a nanosecond that we will be here today being respectful on a web And I am tempted to ask why. But I'm also reminded that no one dares question God. He decides when he decides. In a community, there are movers and shakers. There are those who live their life very quietly. There are those who do not care. But also there are stabilizers. And Roberto was indeed a stabilizer in the 54th, and he even stabilized to the 15th. I'm aware of being in his office one day in 54. And I was reaching on the floor because there were some financial issues and I was using my, my normal background. And he called me to his office and said, Young Sibu, you smile. But you can't cause confusion because when you raise some of these issues, it becomes difficult to explain to the rest of the police. So calm down. And from that day, he referred to me as Honorable Small Brother, and I referred to him as Honorable Big Brother. As we live on the way to rest, he took us a lesson, and I think that lesson should be shared with you. We did not calculate that he would be amongst those who will not return. Getting close to elections, we were doing our calculations on those who return and those who may not return. Oh no, Bible was not in the number of those who we thought would not return. He did not return, but he taught us a lesson. He accepted the result, but not just that. He worked every day until January 15th. Accepted the result, worked until his time was ended. Even he was the last person to make the motion to shut down the 54 and away the 53. Those of us who are public servants on the world wants me to remind us that when our time in service is ended, accept the result. Work to the close of time and move on. Having said that, we like to leave this video on the casket bearing the much of the means of a lion, a stable lasting, someone who will stay in the middle of making things happen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. Speak, speak on, on the web. And so, thank you. On that note, I'm pleased to invite the new marriage legislative caucus to achieve. So, Excellency, the president is here in there. As a matter of fact, the funeral continues. Thank you. Uh, please join me, those of the uh, 54th uh, members of the Nina Legislative Caucus that are here, and plus uh, those of us from the 54th. And so we want to thank you for joining us on this platform, the executive mansion platform. Uh, we've been coming to you 
you know, yeah, all of the previous speakers the have said now, one thing on that continues to resonate. Yeah. That our fallen brother, mm. yeah, the fire president, you remember me? We have a bit. <laughs> the president, uh, Mr. President, 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 Joe Amma. Uh, standing on as this thing, from Paul, we want to, and the rest of the in team, this public manner, but not extend this. our sympathy My name is to Ellen. the family of David Johnson by the Fair word. Like previous speakers have said, thanks for watching. One thing that resonates.